Welcome, I'm going to show you how to edit the strawberry cupcake mockup in Photopea. So first go to photopea.com in any web browser, p-h-o-t-o-p-e-a.com. Um, I'm using Google Chrome just because it was a little faster than Safari, so if you're having any trouble you might want to try Google Chrome. And once Photopea is up, just double click open from computer and find the mockup. And then it's going to load for a little bit. So we're going to do most of our work inside this handy layers panel right here. Um, if you don't see the layers panel, just go to Window, Layers to bring it up. So if you want to add a design to the uh, circular topper here, just click the little arrow next to the topper layer group to expand it. And then double click the thumbnail icon in the design-topper layer. open up the smart object. My computer's been a little slow today, but once the smart object is open, go to File, Open to find your design. And we're going to go to Select All. And then edit, copy. And then we're going to click back on the smart object and go to edit, paste. And you might need to resize that. So to do that, we'll just click on the layer. Um, I'm pressing command minus to zoom out. It would be control minus on a PC. We're just going to hold on the shift key and then click on any of the four corners and drag in to make it smaller or out to make it bigger. Um, you might have to move that so we'll just click and drag over here. We'll press Command Plus to zoom back in. Alright, once you got that in place, you can just go to File, Save Smart Object to update the Smart Object. And then when it's done, just click the little X in the Smart Object tab. And you can click the X to close the original graphics and it'll put them right on there for us. If your graphics have a white background to make it look a little more natural, you could change the blend mode on this design layer here from normal to multiply. If you wanted to add a design to the liner, you would just expand this liner front group and then double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash liner front layer and repeat the steps. You can also change the colors of the topper and the liner, um, both the front of the liner and the inside of the liner. If you see this liner dash inside layer, you can click the arrow next to that and expand and it'll let you change the design and the color of the inside of the liner here too, in addition to the outside. So we're going to hide the design for a second and double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash topper layer. And that's going to open up this info properties um, box. We want to make sure the properties tab is selected and then make sure the layers tab is selected. And then we'll see this color fill box double click that swatch next to the color fill and it'll open up our color picker which is where we can change the color of the topper. So you can just click anywhere in this rainbow slider to change the color and then click in this box to change the lightness or darkness of that color and then click OK when you're done. You can also enter in the color values if you know them.
and you know you can change the color of the liner if you want to as well by double clicking on the thumbnail icon in the color dash liner front layer group and of course the properties tab needs to be selected as well as layer and then we'll double click the color swatch again now if you wanted the exact same color on both the topper and the liner the easiest way to do that would be to copy and paste the uh, color value so like here the hex value is C5E5F4 so we'll press command C to copy that on a PC it would be control C and then we'll double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash liner front group bring up the color picker for that and press command V to paste it control V on a PC press OK and we'll have the same color for both the topper and the liner if you don't have a circular topper and you just want to overlay the topper on top of the toothpick you can just click the eye icon here next to where it says design topper or next to where it says topper actually and just turn the whole thing off so that you can overlay your differently shaped topper right on top of the toothpick if you don't want the toothpick maybe you just want to put your topper right on top of the cupcake you can just click the eye icon next to the toothpick layer and turn that off too it'll also let you uh, edit the shadows under the cupcake so if you want to make the shadows under the cupcake lighter or whatever just click the arrow next to shadows under cupcake to expand that layer group and then click any of the layers inside the shadows under cupcake layer group and then click the down arrow next to opacity and you can drag the slider to the left to make it more subtle if you want to there are a couple of different backgrounds with this mock-up right now I've got the marble background showing so if you click the little arrow icon in the backgrounds layer group and expand that you can then click the eye icon next to the marble background or white background to kind of toggle them on and off so as you notice basically everything here involves clicking on thumbnails clicking on arrows clicking on eye icons pretty much the same things over and over again and uh, so when you're all done and you have everything how you want it you can just save it go to file export as and if you want to use this as a thumbnail like on Etsy you can go export as JPEG if you want to save a version of the layered PSD file you can come back here and then go file save as PSD please uh, let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com and don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos and as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.